Hey Leo, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you for joining me. I am an interpretive tarot card reader and this will be your bonus mid-May reading. So it will be a four card spread, having a look to see what's potentially coming up around you, Leo, uh, in the mid part of the month. Um, please feel free to check out your May general tarot on my channel. Um, all the links to your videos for this month are listed below, Leo, so um, everything you need is there. Um, if you were after a private reading with me, my email is also below in the show more section. Otherwise, please feel free to leave behind a like, a share or a subscribe. That would be very much appreciated um, to receive any updates of any bonus readings coming up, Leo. So let's have a look. You already have a couple of cards that have come up around you. Okay. A lot of surprises, I think, that are coming up around you in May. Things that you potentially deemed unrealistic or you didn't think could happen will happen. So it's sort of like you can expect the unexpected here because both the Page of Cups and the Fool really bring that energy here. Now, it can be around some sort of communication or a message here with the Judgment card. Um... I honestly feel like you are opening up to something here and giving someone your truthful and honest opinion or judgment or feedback. Angels are intermediaries. This is all about some sort of message here. Um, and it could be a secret. It could be a confession. It could be something you feel like you're ready to open up with. Uh, the Page of Cups can sort of symbolize a bit of emotional vulnerability here, Leo. So I think you're coming into a space where you're ready to be vulnerable with someone. And obviously things are taking height here because you're ready to take those steps with the full card. Um, you're more ready than you think you are. And this is coming up around mid-May. So it is Aries and Pisces energy. Pisces being the last of the zodiac, Aries being the first, can be an ending or a new beginning of some kind. But it's very swift, so I feel like if some of you are ending or a relationship um, or maybe going on a break, you might reconcile fairly soon, um, very quickly actually, or it's like you'll have someone else lined up here around you, Leo. So there's, I feel like there's no time to waste here. Um, but with the judgment card, it can be that someone passes, makes a remark, okay, about something. Um, could be about something on your social media, could be about something about the workplace, maybe children, okay, parenting, um, culture, religion, location, distance. They could pass a comment, but... And I don't know, Leo, someone could surprise you here as well. If it's not you that's surprising them. I mean, I sort of want to focus this more on you, though. So I think there's judgment circulating around you. And it's obviously going to affect you. In which way is hard to say, because the Fool and the Page of Cups are here. But I think this is very interesting. I do. Uh... These golden tones, illumination, sun, knowledge, power, wisdom, all of this is coming up around you, Leo. So I do feel like there's something that's going to be said or acknowledged or announced that could potentially change things here for you. I want to say change things in a better way, more than uh, a complicated way, because you have the Queen of Pentacles here. And she represents everything in the physical, earthly realm. And she's got this garden, you know, she's around these flowers. She's got this rose bush next to her. Mm, and this is pretty beautiful, Leo. It could be an, a very pleasant surprise. It could be that someone surprises you or you surprise them. Or I think you're going to be surprised with their action, their, their thoughts. Maybe they're even fantasies with the Page of Cups here. And it could be quite an emotional uh, discovery or conversation. 
But I think it's somehow going to bring you closer together, Leo. I do. It's that vulnerability that you're ready for is, is going to bring you into that Queen of Pentacles energy. And see how she's sort of lovingly adoring this, this pentacle. She holds it in her lap. Um, it's in a safe place and she's almost like nurturing it in a way. And I feel like you're going to put yourself in a vulnerable position, maybe take a risk. Okay, maybe show a more emotional side to yourself. The page and the fool are, I don't know, Leo, there could be something happening in mid-May where you don't think you handle it very well, or maybe you handle it with an emotional undertone. Um, but I think someone's really going to appreciate that vulnerability. Someone's going to, it's almost like you're going to let them into a softer side of yourself and I think that that other person, this this love person or whoever whoever your person is, they're really going to adore and appreciate you, um, and appreciate this side, this this very delicate side that you have to yourself. This maybe it's like a timid side. I don't know if it's shyness or emotional vulnerability or you letting your guard down, but I think it's going to surprise someone around you, and I think it's going to be for the better. So it could be that they've wanted to see you vulnerable in a way. Um, not that the Queen of Pentacles is vulnerable. She's not. But she's very learned and she's very wise. And I think there might be some lessons tied into what happens around you in mid-May. But I do think it's something about communication or maybe judgment. Um, or maybe it's just emotional sensitivity. But I think this is coming up around you. Especially if it's an early connection, okay, for some of you watching, if this connection is fairly recent or you're getting to know this person again, say, for example, um, or it's brand new, I think that might be um, more specific for you, actually. But it can also be if you have history with this person, if you have children together, um, could even be pregnancy for some of you. Or planning, something around the home and, and family planning here. Maybe you're worried about being judged, Leo, as, as uh, being judged as a certain way. Maybe that's what's sort of consuming your thoughts, your mind, this, this mid-May period. You don't want to look a certain way. You don't want to come across a certain way. So you're sort of holding your own as you do. You're quite proud and you can see that the fool has this very, uh, an expression of pride on his face, actually. Um, so... Maybe it's you putting your pride aside, Leo. But I want to say don't be afraid of opening up because the results, you know, you letting someone else see that side of you is really going to create something beautiful. I, I think it's worth it because something will come of this and this judgment, maybe this fear of judgment or fear how you'll be perceived um, as a lover, as a partner, as an ex, you know, whatever position you find yourself in, in your current love circumstances. I feel like there's an, there's an element of adoration here with the Queen of Pentacles. So I do feel like there could be someone wanting to see that vulnerable side. And it may make them fall even faster seeing that side to you that you don't often let others see, Leo. So... It could be a somewhat of a rare event, almost like an, an unbelievable event or conversation, you know. It's almost like you won't believe it. You won't believe that this person thinks about you so fondly or maybe you showing your vulnerabilities is what they love, what, what, what they will love most about you. It's almost like disbelief or, you know, it's, it's, it's unbelief maybe something that's unbelievable because the the cups of the page of cups brings an element of um, fantasy here so could be something that's very dreamy or dreamlike it feels like a blur it feels a little bit intermeshed so it could be a somewhat puzzling or enigmatic time especially emotionally leo so it'll be interesting to see how that does pan out for you but I really do appreciate you joining me on the channel. It's been a pleasure reading for you, Leo. I hope everyone is keeping well and staying safe. 
and hopefully we shall be in touch very soon. So thanks again, Leo, and bye for now.